Assalamu alaikum ninjas and welcome back your ninja Muhammad here we go another gamepad review GameSet T4 mini multi-platform gaming controller which is selling less than $30 on banggood.com very interesting and cheap very well priced gamepad guys uh, so far it has amazing features and very rarely to find this kind of design and these kind of features in a gamepad guys which is selling under 30 bucks right now in time of corona and war anyway uh, buy it on banggood let's immediately start with the uh, unboxing the links will be in the description there you go guys inside we have a type c usb cable i think so yeah type c usb cable a long one we have a small manuals check this out the gaming is winning with the english i think different languages there yeah t4 mini and here we have have it have it have it have it I try to rip it ah oh, that is here we go, here we go, here we go. Check this out, guys. <laughs> what an interesting gamepad. Very small, indeed, very, very small. Okay, not tiny, tiny, but in comparison to standard gamepads from Ipaga, check out the difference, guys. Check out the difference. Obviously, this is gonna be uh, way easier to hold, press, control, etc., etc. But yet again, in the same time, people still prefer to have a bit slightly larger uh, gamepad, especially people who have big, big, large hands. Me, I do also have large hands, guys, so maybe it's not that uh, kind of perfect for my hand size. Uh, maybe they're for the kids, for girlish hands, etc., etc. This girlish hands for the girl, obviously. Uh, this should work fine. It should work fine, man. GameSet logo here they have, yeah? And we can see by stuff here, D-pad, triggers, a y x b a buttons, uh, power button, uh, wait a minute, sorry, plus, minus, which is home and select button. On the back, we have only L, R, and L, Z, R, Z buttons, plus reset button and type C USB port. Check this out. Wow, man. So yeah, that should be it. Uh, regarding the selling points, of course, this one has a really good battery life, 600 mAh battery, 10 hours of battery life. For such a tiny gamepad, this is really good, guys. Adjustable blacklit modes, glow more in your own way. So it does have, uh, let me just see. Yeah, check this out, guys. Check this out. We are already here in a pairing mode. <laughs> Love it. What a very interesting device. I don't know why I haven't done a review earlier for this gamepad since it is still uh, was released, what, man, maybe last year, one year ago or something? I'm not sure. Okay, guys, uh, I just connected with the Skyline Switch Emulator. We'll be testing it with the Switch Emulator, the free version uh, of, uh, uh, obviously, Agonist Emulator, disclaimer. Uh, anyway, guys, so what else we have? We have move to play turbo setups, usually friendly to all, for, of course, for all users. Uh, it's multi-platform compatible, so you can use it with Android, iOS phones, of course, and PC, guys. Yes, you can also use a virus mode with the PC. And what else we have here? What I love about it that when you set up here the ZR and ZL, you can even set up the strength of the press. The power of the press. I love that. I love that. Let's check it out here. P press B. There you go. You can see myself. It's already working there. I'm using a D pad here. Awesome. <laughs> wow, man. That is great. That is really, really great, bro. What a nice, cute, tiny gamepad, man. Seriously. I don't know why I didn't review, review it early. By the way, I'm uh, using right now, there's two modes connected, uh, connecting with the Android phones. It's the home button and X button and home button and B button. Right now I'm using the home button and B button and this kind of connection mode, it's called Apple Arcade and MFI games, guys. You can see myself, B plus home button. While here on Android smartphone, I have to connect the mobile phone with the Bluetooth, play Android controller supported games. This is uh, home and arc X button, guys. There you go. I'm gonna just stop all of this. If you want to check how to connect, more to vibration intensity adjustment. So T button and D pads up or down buttons, guys. So remember T button, this one, and you go like this. Okay. Wow. Wow, man, that is, that is very powerful. Let me see, let me see. <laughs> oh, what a crazy man. Unbelievable that that's, this kind of tiny gamepad has such a power in it, man. Wow, man, this is seriously a king of the gamepads right now. Wow. Well, seriously, wow, man, a lot of comp uh, a lot of positivity is already here just at the beginning of this video, man, five, five minutes already here. That is insane, bro. 
Check it out, Celeste. We're playing Celeste here without any problems whatsoever. Looks just fine. Beautiful. Of course, I'll be testing also Android games for you. Okay, and just one more thing which I need to show you is how to change the, it has interchangeable colors. This RGB, you can change it. And also, this is impossible to do with so many different gamepads. And newer models, which are a bit more expensive, they, they have option, but for $30, this is very rare. So T button and triggers, guys. Check it out, guys. Love it. <laughs> Uh, also, you can basically hold T and hold it and you can uh, put the basic turn it off or put uh, at a very high brightness. You get the point, yeah? Check this out. Three different modes, I think so. Wow. I love this one. This one is for me the best. Cute. Awesome. Let's go next. Okay, so let's begin finally with the game test. It's a six minute on timeline, I think so. I hope you don't mind that I uh, praise this gamepad so much, but seriously, I'm well uh, overwhelmed by it. It's just really great buy, it's less than $30. I don't know how much this gamepad was uh, priced when they just released it, uh, but man, wow, dual vibration, very strong vibration, super easy to adjust it. The colors RGB, it just looks very nice, tiny, uh, com uh, compatible, uh, sorry for that, uh, compact, uh, and uh, easy to, this can easily fit with your smartwatch in your pocket, man. I love it, seriously, I love it. Uh, also, the triggers look, uh, behave very nice, very, very nice. Input lag here. Honestly, I don't feel it whatsoever, maybe minimum to the minimum. Still, obviously, the GameStar X2 has the best input, uh, basically, uh, delay to almost zero because it's a, a wired connection. For the Bluetooth connectivity, this is superb. Also, check it out. The triggers here, L1, L2, works perfect, man. Perfectly. They work perfectly. This is also running, yeah? Nice. Seriously nice. Anyway, let's go next. Okay, a little bit of PPSSPP here. This gamepad works on default. You don't need to map it like I have to with the Skyline Switch Emulator. Also, with the Dolphin, you have to map this gamepad. Ether SX2 has the automatic mapping, which is superb. C Citra also needs uh, mapping, unfortunately. So, PPSSPP and Ether SX2 are really crazy good emulators. Super optimized, man. Go next. Okay, a little bit of pass. Great game pad, man. Great game pad. Okay guys, a little bit of Android games here. Check it out, Real Racing 3 on default. You don't need to do anything. The game runs just great, man. Support of the ca cameras. Changing the camera view. Break. Awesome, bro. Very responsive gamepad, very, very responsive. I love that. Let's watch some shooting game. Okay, more Android games. Asphalt 8 guys running here on default with this gamepad without any problems whatsoever. Check this out. Can we change the, let's see here, the camera maybe? This is using the drift, changing the camera. Can we unlock the speed? Yeah, we can. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's go next. Okay, Automar guys, this is also one of the games, super cool, let's just say, uh, looking nice game for 2D, and it works on default with this gamepad. Check this out.
Beautiful. And just another game, a great game here, Dead Triggers 2. Unfortunately, this uh, game still doesn't have automatic uh, setup uh, for the gamepad. Obviously, you have to map it through the settings. Not a big deal, but I wish that they have it like real, real like, like all the games have, man, you know? It's a super old game and it is still... Uh, is that difficult to add automatic mapping? I'm not sure, bro. Let's go. Okay, Ninja, so for the end, my impressions, should you buy this uh, gamepad? I mean, already spoiled spoil it, we're already at the beginning when I was very impressed by this uh, gamepad just uh, for the price tag that it's uh, selling in this time of when everything is going very, very high, very expensive. $30, guys, $30, I think a lot of people can afford that. Maybe still people, there are a group of people who can't afford it, and I wish you all the good, I hope... Uh, uh, Immediately the next week you can uh, order yourself this gamepad. So yes guys, very compact, very small, very tiny. You can see by itself it's smaller than the Redmi K40 Pro, man. So which is basically this is gonna easier fit in your pocket than this one. Uh, of course, good battery light, uh, li life for a small, uh, of course, for a small gamepad. RGB fully customized, like I showed you. You can customize these options, which is insane. Like see by itself over here. Plus you can customize the the strength of the RGB man. That's also very nice. Very nice indeed. Uh, the the motors are very very strong. I love that the motors are very very strong. Clickable buttons. Clickable buttons here. Triggers are also very fine. Awesome man. Awesome here. It doesn't it doesn't have obviously the M customizable buttons on the back, but that is fine. Taps USB uh, port. And again, this is multi-platform, so you can use it with the Switch, Android, iOS, and PC, man. Come on. What do you else want more from the gamepad which costs 30 bucks? Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Have a great day. Masalama.